The concept for my dinosaur was a Native American Brachiosaurus, decorated as if they were still around while humans were alive. The Brachiosaurus was chosen for its role as a fireman in the book Dinotopia by James Gurney, as well as the Native American theme due to the fossil being discovered in North America. This is the final concept. The idea was for it to be an organic model with a few additional features such as a hand-sewn tailband to show an ownership and a fur rug for humans to ride on his back. First-hand research was conducted in the National History Museum in London and then the project was started. The workflow followed was the typical structure for constructing a 3D model in that the work would go from concept to low poly model to ZBrush high poly sculpt and to a retopolarized model. However, I wanted to incorporate the use of Dynamesh for my modeling and skip the entire low poly construction stage altogether. The reasoning for this is because whilst the Brachiosaurus already had a conceptual design, the anatomy for the creature was mostly guesswork through looking at fossils and the muscle groups at the National History Museum. By following the workflow of Leave and Archer, this allowed my dinosaur to be quickly sculpted with a high amount of detail. The use of Dynamesh allowed me to change anatomy features or various design choices of the dinosaur, for instance, how the head would look, and keep an even poly count whilst working. In the end, this proved highly beneficial, as the workflow felt much more natural and there wasn't an issue with stretch polys or additional design choices that weren't apparent in the original concept, uh, such as adding the frill on his neck, scales on his neck and ridges along as well, folds in the skin, or the arrangement of scales on his face that were inspired by iguanas. Retopology was done through ZBrush Retop feature. This tool allowed me to stay as accurate to the model as possible by pasting quads directly onto the model surface. Because of this, the normal map taken from the high poly worked exceptionally well. However, in the first iteration of the retopologized version, there were a few issues when exporting into 3ds Max, such as missing polys or inverted normals on the polys. Another issue is that when the fur rug on the back of the Brachiosaurus was retopped with the tool, when opened in 3ds Max, it was completely inverted, which was wasted time trying to fix. Whilst the retop tool was very useful for the main body, for the smaller objects such as the tailband, shown here, which was redone later on, a regular retop in 3ds Max was done. While less accurate, it didn't face the problems that the fur rug did. After feedback, additional animation loops were put into the legs, knee joints, and the neck of the dinosaur to give it a bit more stretch whilst moving. Poly painting the model followed the concept and stuck with a Native American theme using earth tones and values to emulate living in the desert or plains. At first the poly paint was far too yem lemon yellow, but this was toned down as the poly paint progressed. The poly paint was captured onto UVs and then projected onto the low poly. This also happened with the normal map. The teeth, the eyes and the claws were done in Photoshop rather than 3ds Max, as using textures and traditional painting methods produced better results. This is the final diffuse render. The model was then set up with a cat rig. Due to the skeletal structure of the legs, I decided to follow the animation of a horse walking, which was referenced during earlier research, as shown here. After following some feedback, the animation was slowed down to be a more precise and dignified walk. The ideal animation proved quite difficult and wanting to keep the slow nature of the dinosaur, kept a slow movement and stamped his foot. The ideal animation could have had more time spent on it to ensure that the muscle groups moved better and then it was more dynamic and alive, as he feels very stilted The model was set up with an anim set and anim tree allowing him to walk around the level once scripted. A uh, few changes had to be made to the script however, as at first he moved much too fast for his slow pace and he was a bit too small. The draw scale was increased and the movement speed reduced to match the animation speed. 
A major problem the Brachiosaurus was setting up his physics asset. Because of his long neck and difficult legs, he had a lot of issues with collapsing that weren't resolved fully. The turntable was set up in the similar styles to shown by each 3D tutorial, with a dark background and three-point lighting to show off the model. The walk cycles were created using matinee to allow him to walk and idle in the engine. Some critiques for the model would be that the fur rug um, has a few issues because of the problems that were faced in said brush when retopologizing. There's a hole in the bottom of it, which is fairly noticeable as it's a pretty big dinosaur. Um, another would be that the muscle groups could have been more defined, which would have